Welcome back, welcome back with another episode for we'll continue to see. If you see, how many kilograms of ammonia? Know that. If it is not being given to you, you are not being told to where to put the mass, either it can be kilograms or kilograms, that's not to see. If you are not being told, always the mass has to be not in grams, and ladies have been told like what I've been told here. How many kilograms of ammonia are needed to produce 1.00 times 10, 105 grams of what? Ammonium sulfate. Now, before you go any further, your main interest is you to make the what? The data. Right? That's your main interest here. If you like to write the data here. Right? Of which they're trying to say, what is the number of, or what is the mass in grams, or how many grams of ammonia you don't have, which means, again, they told to say, if you have been given 1.00 times 10, 105 grams of what? Ammonium sulfate. So, which means I've been given 1.00 times 10, 1.00 times 105. Of which 1.00 times 105, that is what? That is 10.3. I mean 105. Right? Now, what's going to happen? I said this is equal to 10 what? 105 kg. No, that is a kg, not grams. So it's so juice here, whatever that is in gram should be converted into what? Into kg. Know that the same equation as the one that we're using, we're using two moles of what? Ammonia. Plus sulfuric acid to produce ammonium sulfate. Right? Good. Here we go. Now, having ha- I mean, uh, after having such kind of data, it's our duty of calculating each and every uh, molecular mass number of the compound and convert them into kg so that it can be simple for us. Right? Using because for us being given this equation, we'll be using also the moral mass that has been provided in us, I mean for us, in the what? In the equation. So, of which I've got two moles of what? Ammonia. So, I said to calculate now the moral mass of this one, which means this two also is affecting this three. So, it will be two times what? Three, which is six. So, it means six times what? Two times what? Which is what? Six. This will be two times what? Fourteen, which is what? Twenty-eight. They start to add up with a 6 plus 28. That's give us what? 34. Right? Now, here we go. That is 34 grams. They start to convert it. They start to convert They start to convert now into what? Into kg. Right? We say we want to say 1 kg is equivalent to what? 1000 what? Grams. So here I put x. Here I put what? 34 grams. Then I cross multiplication here. X times 1000, that is what? 1000 what? X is equal to 34. Divided by 1000. Divided by what? 1000. So this, this goes, what's our X? Is equal to 0. 0.034 kg. Right. So if we want to convert 34 grams of ammonia, Having the ratio of two that is being given to us, of which are going to absorb what 0.3 034 kg. Right? Yes. Let's go. What about ammonium sulfate? And if you see ammonium sulfate are already calculated, it's more mass. What was the more mass of ammonium sulfate? It was this, right? It was this. Now, that is ammonium sulfate, the calculation that was being done, 
in a fixed equation, which is for three a, of which it is what is one thirty two grams. Let's have to convert it now, of which is say one kg is equivalent to what one thousand grams, of which x here here I put one thirty two in cross multiplication go to what one thousand what x is equal to one thirty two divided by one thousand divided by one thousand of which our x is equal to zero point two one three two kg right now it's my duty to calculate or light my data now my final data what is my final data do i have the mass in kg for ammonium I don't have that's ammonia because I've been told to low find the kilograms. I mean the kilograms of ammonia. Do I have the mass given of ammonium sulfate? Yes, I have, which is one zero point what one zero one zero five kg. Now let's start to use the same equation to find our answer. Now I say. Ammonium plus um, uh, sulfuric acid, we're going to have what? Ammonium what? Ammonium sulfate. Right? Note that our molecular mass data here is this. That is our molecular mass means the data here. For ammonia in kg, right? Is 0 0.0 what? 0 0.34 kg. For ammonium sulfate, is it 0 0.1322 kg? Right? Here you go. Our main interest is what? Is this? What is ammonia? Of which I'm going to put X because I do not know. Right? And also, is this and also this so of which i supposed to say on ammonia i don't know the mass i don't know so i'm going to put x there is equal to for about ammonium sulfate the mass given is what one zero five right what is the mass number here now i'm going to put the mass number that has been converted into kg what is that zero point two zero three four which is equal to what about ammonium sulfate it is 0 0.2132. In a cross multiplication, there are x and this is what? 0 0.2132. x is equal to 105 times in 0 0.2034. Then you drive by both sides by 0 0.132. Double by both sides by 0 0.132. This, this goes. What's our x? Our x is equal to. Get your calculator here, punch. You say one zero five times zero point zero three four, which is that one, which is three point two five seven divided by zero point two one three two. Now x is equal to divided by zero point one three two. Also x, your x is equal to twenty seven point zero four. Kg, right? Kg of what? Kg of who? ammonia. Now, that should be seen. If you go back to our question, that should be seen. One point or one zero five grams. Kilograms of ammonium sulfate. Or well, having provided 105 kilograms of ammonium sulfate, that indicates we have 27.04 kg of ammonia. In this case, that's about our kilograms. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. This is Alasinkara. See you in the next episode. Thank you.